And I remember the last straw of it, uh, that is when he gave that scripture. I remember going to have communion with God and I told him, you know what? If this is what you've chosen, this one I don't want. So what you're going to do, you're going to take me. Let me come, as in take my life, so that you allow him to marry someone else so that he can get children. There's a question you asked that brought me to this, and I'm forgetting, but anyway, let's, let's continue with it. It will come. Okay. So then, um, oh yeah, the Dean's one. Mm -hmm. For some reason, because Nazarene, they do chapel like every, almost every day or every week mm -hmm. or something. The chapel, I would find was a ticking the box thing. So sometimes I'll be so exhausted because I've come from a customer uh, site, and then I would need to go to chapel. So I would use that time when people are doing chapel, the first 20 minutes, to just... Decompress. Decompress. But the guards round would... Um, <clears throat> they would go around telling people, because they, they, they were told they should... It was a responsibility to check they go to, chapel, they go to chapel. And every time... Then there's this guard who would come. He was called... Uh, no, I didn't... At that time, I didn't even know his name. He would come, and every time he's like... Madam, you know I get in trouble if you don't. Then I'm like, I really don't want to get you into trouble. Um, so then I decided to go so as I don't get him into trouble because I'm not being a good steward or a mm. good Christian by doing this. I'm not helping him reach mm. his whatever. Chapel, so, in an essence, was compulsory. Yes, it was compulsory. Mm -hmm. Then um, we get to 2012. We are not pregnant yet. Still trying to get pregnant. I'm still doing school, I'm still getting my A's, I'm still getting into dance list and my school fees being paid. Then uh, the guard still sometimes comes and finds me in the room. And, but then now when I find him, I would stop. And I got curious, he had such good English, such good command of English. And so we would have conversations. Then one time I helped him understand where I'm coming from. I told him, let me tell you, I have such a demanding job during the day. Mm. By the time I come, I'm so tired. If I don't take this 10, 15 minutes to just um, decompress, I won't be able to concentrate in class and I want to be able to concentrate in class. So he understood. So then what we ended up doing, he would actually come and we start to sort of have conversation and fellowship. Um, then meanwhile, in June of... 2012, I, I think it's 6th June, we are praying and God gives us the name of our child. We're not pregnant. God gives us the name of our firstborn, mm. who's Nathan. And he says, you continue to trust me. I'm the God who still provides. Your child is coming. Of course, we are still not pregnant. I'm going through school. Is that, is, I don't want to jump over this oh. pregnancy thing. Oh. Is that not getting pregnant affecting you? It was hard. It's one of the hardest things mm. I think a woman can go through, or a family can mm. go through. Because what do you do? What do you do? Yes, it was affecting me. Mm. But then also, I would get to moments I would surrender it to God. The 2007? Yes, but harder. Because uh, I would be like, but God, if you knew we were not going to get children, and he, he is good with children, he likes children, why did you allow me to get married? Mm. I... And I remember the last straw of it, uh, that is when he gave that scripture. I remember going to have communion with God and I told him, you know what? If this is what you've chosen, this one I don't want. So what you're going to do, you're going to take me. Let me come, as in take my life, so that you allow him to marry someone else so that he can get children. What? Yes. As in we had that conversation with God. You're you're cut from a different cloth. <laughs> That's a different relationship that you have with God. Because he brought him into my life. As in he he chose he I he chose him to come into my life. He so, knew he we we as in by the time I met him, he had adopted a children's home in Kayole. Oh. He loved children. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I used to go with him to the children's home in Kayole. Wow. So how do you get a person who's coming from children's home in Kayole then to a place where he can't have children with his wife? Is that, are you are just, you're just. So how does this just show up? 
So this thing, for you, you are okay not having children. I mean, you want the children. I want the children, uh -huh. but then the burden I am having is, is, for is for him. Wow. As in, all I need to, I knew what I needed to do is get to a place where um, God will make my heart okay. As in, if he chooses, I'm not, it's not for children. Mm. God will make my heart okay. And I have that kind of relationship with him. He will settle it for me. But then, to carry that burden mm. for another person, mm -hmm. I'm like, God, surely. I'm... I'm coming to realize there's two people, there's two groups of people, and just in this, mm -hmm. in this, in this parity thing, mm -hmm. there's people who don't want children, mm -hmm. there's people who don't want children, and God gives them children, mm -hmm. there's people who want children, mm -hmm. and God waits a long time before giving them children, mm -hmm. people who want children who will never get children. Mm -hmm. So, and the older I've gotten, I've realized these children thing is a is, it's got all these different twists and turns mm -hmm. that's why i had to just stop and mm -hmm. and ask so when you said you were trying that's something i've never done i've never tried for children mm. ask god you has wanted children yeah. god has given okay you get without trying mm -hmm. but at the same time i have friends who are trying amazing parents but mm -hmm. don't have you get mm -hmm. so when you said you were trying it 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 triggered yeah, yeah. it it triggered my heart for some people watching mm -hmm. just to find out how did you then so God promises you. So, so in that, after we, that lowest moment of mine, I think he realized how desperate I had gotten. Uh -huh. He's a loving and compassionate God. Then he gave me what, it's on my Bible actually, and I see it every time. And I dated it. And he told me, Nathan is your child. I know. And it was in June 2012, and Nathan will come to be. So me, I went about life. June, tw oh, June, June 2012. That yes, you June 2012. I'm yeah. not pregnant. He just, he just said He gave that word in June 2012. Yes. Okay. In, after that moment of where I'm telling him, I'm okay, actually. If that is what you chose, I'm fine. And but for, this, for his sake, yeah. And you believe him? Yes, I believe him. I wrote it on my Bible. It's his word. <laughs> As in he said it. So how did you hear it? Just, okay, for this particular yeah. one, what did you hear? It just, it just, but it, I don't know, but it just, it's an impression. impression. It's okay. an impression. Okay. It's an impression. Wow. Do you tell your hubby? Yes, because we were praying together. Aha. Uh -huh. We prayed together. I don't even know. Yeah. Uh, no, first I got it. Then it, yeah. Then he, we journeyed to that. Mm. Mm. So you, so you're not pregnant, but you know yes. we're getting a boy, and we're calling him Nathan. Correct. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> so then, even when our friends would come, we, even when we would pray with our friends, we'd be like, "Yeah, let's pray, Nathan, for Nathan to, to be conceived." Wow! 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 Okay, let's go back to this watch. This this guard. Yes. So then, yes. So I wanted to, you to understand that. Yeah, I've got it. <laughs> so then, we are catching up with him. We've never asked each other names. We are talking. No, I ask him, what's your story? Why is your English so eloquent? What are you doing as a guard? What is it? What? There must be a story behind this. Then he tells me, you know, I, I, I got a C plus. C plus. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. There was no money. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. So I couldn't go to school. Then I'm like, okay. And what did you want to study? So this one, we're having conversation. I come back home, I share with my husband. I tell him, I met this guy. We started talking. He has such good command of English. Um, and then he continued like that. Then, it, then I asked him, because this is, remember this is July to, so the same year now, that 2012. Then I asked him, what do you want to study? He says, uh, social studies. Mm -hmm. Then I tell him, have you checked around the colleges, those ones who are doing diploma social studies? He goes, does his research, comes with pamphlets. The next time he sees me, comes with pamphlets. Um, and then he says, me, I'm expecting he's bringing diplomas. He brings University of Nairobi. <laughs> <laughs> social studies. He says, this is the one I want to study. 
Meanwhile, I have told God I had budgeted to pay my school fee. I continue getting into dean's list. Every dean's list I get, this guy, his school fee is paid. And so I told him, go register. See, the big one, the biggest one is usually the first one. Yes. Because of that, you can do bursary, you can do yep, all those yep. things. And I asked him, what's the first one? I think he said 72 or something thousand. So I'm like, the agreement is, if I pay 72, me and well, we paid 22,000 shillings, it is not that we constantly continue paying. Mm -hmm. You'll need to find ways to do it so that you finish. Mm. We agree, go signs. Then on the day, now, see, now they're coming to meet, he, he's coming to meet with my husband, because I never met. It's me who's always been speaking to him and telling uh, Sid about him. Then on this day, on a Saturday, I'm like, actually, come, come visit us so that you meet my husband, so that he knows. Mm. And I ask him, and by the way, what's your name? Don't you dare tell me. What do you mean, by the way, what's your name? Or we, all this time you've just been no, We've just been talking. Yeah. Yeah. And he tells me, I'm Nathaniel. Ah, by the way, imagine, guys, I have to stop here. <laughs> we'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs> this is insane. Whoa, whoa, whoa.